Welcome to another episode of Food Bra, where we put the cans in the can-do. By that, I mean just cans to keep it easy and lazy, lazy cooking. We got another cold weather recipe coming up for you guys. You ready for this? Slow cooker chicken and dumplings, just like grandma used to make, except for this is El Lazio. Now, the one thing that is a little bit less than lazy, just because even I have my standards sometimes, not often, but sometimes, you could buy canned chicken. Look at this. Gross, right? Okay. So if you want to, go ahead and buy that canned chicken. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I'll do a survival series living out of a can. What we're going to need first is we're going to need to chop up some chicken. Let's get that rolling. The other thing I should say too that you could do is you could buy cooked chicken. They sell shredded chicken. That's sometimes cool and lazy. I just went this route and just bought raw chicken. Uh, you guys got to grow up sometime and touch raw chicken. I'm sorry. Another thing too, I was having an interesting conversation with some uh, ladies at work and some people wash chicken. Don't wash chicken. You get salmonella all over the sink. It's not smart. So that's a major party foul. All right, so let's get this cut up. We're gonna wanna cut this into like one inch pieces. Back to my nice little handy dandy Japanese chef knife. I highly recommend this guy. And today we're just gonna be using uh, good old chicken breast tenderloins. Now that's a little bit lazy because it's easier to cut because it's already cut a little bit for you, just long ways. We're gonna cut these long ways into one inch chunks. Uh, if you say, oh man, I'm cutting all day, blah, 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 that's not lazy. Well, let me show you. With a real sharp knife and something that's already cut, how do you get a one inch chunk? Just like this, guys. Just take it right across. Boom. Boom. Now, if that ain't lazy, I don't know what is. And using real chicken um, that's not cooked already, that's not canned, fresh like this, I, th I think it's gonna make a difference in this recipe, guys. Worth the, worth the work. All right, just like everything, I salt and pepper my meat. Cause I can, and you should. All right, let's move that on over to the old crock -a pot Kinda of spread it out a little bit. Get your fingers kind of gooey. I know it's raw chicken. I know it's scary. It's good to touch raw meat, guys. Just be thankful you're not the one that has to do the butchering or the killing. All right, boom, she's in the pot. First ingredient, just a little old chicken broth. Dump that right in there. Second ingredient. Cream of chicken. Makes it creamy. Mm -mm. And we're going to use two cans of cream of chicken. Go ahead and dump that in there. Looking marvelous. All right, now it's time for our veggies. I'm using peas and carrots. It requires peas and carrots. And a lot of the recipes say frozen peas and chop up carrots, blah, blah, blah. That's work, guys. That's work. So, boom. Just like so. And don't forget about the uh, ye old salt, 350 milligrams of sodium. So let's not salt the hell out of this recipe, guys. All right, we're gonna wanna leave our chicken on the bottom to kind of stir the top a little bit. Get all that creamy goodness all over our veggies. Just like so. Oh, that looks beautiful. That smells good already, too. It's still not cooked. We got one more wet I almost forgot about. We need one cup of milk. Pop that in there. Boom. All right. Normally, I use fresh garlic for stuff, but fresh garlic will overpower the heck out of this. So we're just going to use two tablespoons of garlic powder instead. I'll measure that up because a little bit too much garlic for this recipe will kind of Kind of overrun it a little bit. That's just a quick two. All right, this recipe calls for one medium onion. That's more slicing and dicing. So again, back to a good old lighthouse. I just get the freeze dried stuff and uh, 
I like to use about three teaspoons of this stuff for a medium onion. And plus, if you don't like onion, but you like the taste of onion, freeze dry is where it's at. So I'm gonna add about three teaspoons of this. Just a heavy three. That takes care of our onion component. All right, back to lazy here. We're gonna want some bacon, eight strips to be exact. Taken by this stuff, pre-cooked. We've used it for another recipe. There's no reason not to use this stuff, guys. It is fantastic. It's smoked, it's delicious. So eight strips, we're gonna to wanna to crumble it, so just take and rip it apart and throw it in there. We're gonna stop at five. I don't want this to be too bacony. Now the bacon, if you want a little bit more crispy and everything, you could put it in um, last because there, this is a double cook session, right? So we're gonna cook our chicken and our mix first. This should be done low and slow for six hours, and then we'll kick up the spurs towards the end. So let's pop in our crock pot, pop her on low, and we come back, six hours, magic, woo! All right, so she's been cooking for a while now. Looking pretty good, smelling even better, guys. Let's kick the spurs up on hot to high, and then we'll cut up some biscuits for the biscuits, for the dumplings. I'm gonna be using Grand's buttermilk. They're flaky and delicious. This has been cooking about four and a half hours, I think. My instructions say six hours, but I'm gonna cook it on high for a little longer, I guess. Um, once you add the biscuits, you're only supposed to cook it an hour or so. I'm gonna cook it, in, you know, a little longer maybe. Chicken looks done though. All right, just grab them in the biscuit. Anybody remember that song? Show my age. All right, math is clean. Let's cut up some biscuits. I'm just gonna cut these in half because I want to do it in halves. So let's throw these and just set these right on top of our mixture. A couple more, put them in half. Every time you open that lid, you're losing heat too, so remember that. It's the last of our biscuits. Pop those in there. Squeeze them in. There's room in the pool. Just move over some kitties. There we go. All right. So I didn't pepper this yet, so I'm going to throw some pepper on top here. You don't need to add salt because all the salt in the can. We'll salt the taste later. We'll come back a couple hours or so and see what she looks like. All right, it's been about an hour and a half on high, and look what we got. Nice, puffy biscuits ready to be served up. Grab some of that flaky goodness. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Some chicken chunks in there. Mm. Got some bacon in there. A nice chunk of biscuit on there. Mmm. Biscuit is nice and flaky and tender. Maybe some chicken, some peas. Absolutely fantastic. This is a good hearty meal. Cold winter's day. So stay tuned for more food broth.